Hey everyone, I wanted to do a mini review and a haul on sort of my favorite jewelry company. It's a company called Brighton, and so I want to kind of go through some of the different aspects about this jewelry line, what I like about it, and show you some of my pieces so that you can kind of get an idea of what they carry in the store. This company also has a website. Um, they don't sell all of their products on the website, but you can see at least pictures of the majority of them. Um, and you can also find a lot of these items on eBay, so if you look you can sometimes find a good price on some items that they still sell, still are selling in the stores. So Brighton sells a ton of different products, um, ranging from little accessories that go into your purse, all the way to sort of fancy jewelry sets, up into really sort of expensive purses. And I wouldn't recommend the purses for sort of people that are in my age group, which is, I'm 26, so they're kind of a little old for me, but, and they're also expensive. But what I like to shop for at that store is sort of silver jewelry pieces and accessories for my purse, and they have really cool sunglasses. The jewelry is either silver, 100% sterling silver, or it's some kind of metal that's dipped in silver. And then all of the jewelry is covered in a lacquer so that the silver doesn't tarnish. So that's one of the greatest features about this jewelry is it's silver, but it doesn't tarnish. You never have to polish it. They're a company that's really based on sort of the small details in their jewelry, so they have a lot of different textures and colors. They have different finishes. They use Swarovski crystals in a lot of their um, jewelry. And another aspect is that a lot of their pieces that they use, like different charms and beads, are found in a lot of their different collections. So you can actually sort of mix and match some of their sets. And then one of the third aspects that I really like about this company is that their jewelry is designed to be in sets. So if you find a bracelet you like, there's generally a necklace and a pair of earrings that are meant to match with it. Now, like I said before, a lot of their things can be intermixed, so you're not limited to, you know, only getting the pieces that specifically match with, you, with each other. So that makes it a really versatile jewelry company. Their jewelry also ranges from really simple things to really sort of shiny, fancy things. Um, and they're very affordable. The prices generally range between $30 and $60 for a piece of jewelry, but I don't think any of their pieces are that outrageous. It's definitely not a store that you would go and buy like 10 pieces at a time, but you can go in and find, you know, a lot of different things that you like, and it's kind of hard to choose sometimes which one you're going to actually purchase. It's a very durable jewelry, so it lasts a long time, and like I said, it doesn't tarnish. So you don't have a lot of maintenance in that way. It's also kind of you know heavy duty. It's not going to fall apart or break on you. Some of my pieces I've had for actually a couple of years, and they still look just as brand brand new. So I've never had any problems with them. But if you ever see a store, you should go in. I think the first time I walked by the store, I kind of thought it was like an older woman sort of jewelry store. But after going in, I realized that it's got all kinds of fun. Uh, pieces of jewelry in there and the saleswomen are always really really nice they let you try on everything um, so that's kind of my little review about about the jewelry line now I'm going to go and show you some of my favorite pieces that I have so the piece I think I've actually had the longest is this necklace and it is a two charm necklace that has a peace sign that has Swarovski crystals and then it has a second charm that has sort of the globe, all the all the continents in the in the world, and then on the side it has this charm that says "Peace starts within." So when it hangs on your neck, you can see this charm here like this. Um, it's kind of like a a rope that has little sort of design on it. Um, so it has a lot of little details in it. So that's the first piece that I think I ever bought from this company, which was I think two years ago. I think it was like 50 something dollars. I, they're still selling this actual piece in the store. It's a really awesome piece. Um, and then like I was also saying, a lot of their jewelry is sort of, you can intermingle between different sort of sets or collections as you want to call them. This is a bracelet that I actually just recently bought. It's actually all the peace signs in all of their different collections. So some of them are specifically just peace signs. Some of them actually say the word peace. And some of them have like sayings on them, like "Give peace a chance" or um, "All you need is love," and on the back is a peace sign. So that's what this bracelet is. It's a really fun bracelet with a lot of dangles. And then another necklace that I have 
that's in a different collection is this necklace here. It has three charms. The first is a Swarovski crystal bead. The second is a charm that actually says the word peace. And the third is a Chinese symbol that means peace. Another piece that I recently bought was this necklace. It's a flower that has Swarovski crystals on the middle flower. And then I was talking about the, the little details at the end here. There's a heart at the back of the necklace. And another thing that I really like about this jewelry is um, that this, the length that the necklace hangs is adjustable. So sometimes when you get a, a piece of jewelry, you can't, they only give you one hook to hook it on. This one, they give you like a whole sort of series of hooks that you can choose to make the length that you want. So if you want it longer or shorter, I think that's a really nice feature of this jewelry. And then I got the bracelet that goes along with that necklace. It's the same sort of concept except the, they're linked together. It has Swarovski crystals on the middle flower. So this is a really fun piece that I would wear. Sort of. And then something I got for my mom for Christmas is this really cool charm bracelet. And it has all these really cool beads on it. Um, it's got a um, Chinese takeout box that's really cool. It actually physically opens. It has a, a lid that comes up and it has a little detail of this heart in there, which is really cool. It has a fortune cookie that says um, Lucky Fortune. It's here. It has these little sort of Asian ladies that have a dangly bead from their front and then their feet actually sort of dangle which is really cute. And then it has this charm that um, means peace in Chinese. And it says peace on the back, which also matches one of the other sort of necklaces that I have. So this is a really cool, fun, dangly bracelet. And I like charm bracelets. I think they're fun. Something that they've come out with in the last couple of years is sort of a, a, a build your own charm bracelet line. And I think they also have necklaces that you can build, but I think the most popular version of it is making a bracelet. And they have tons and tons of charms. They have um, flower charms, insect charms. They've got all the 50 states have a charm. They've got sports charms. They've got a lot of different hearts, um, fruits. They have so many different things, um, different kinds of foods. And then they have spacers, so you can put a spacer in between each charm. They have like colors, and they have ones that are beaded with Swarovski crystals, or just sort of plain. And they all have sort of a range in price, um, I think from between 5 and $12. Um, sort of the fancier, bigger charms are a little more expensive, and some of the ones that have Swarovski crystals are a little bit more expensive. But this is the charm bracelet that I have. Um, so there's all these different charms on it, and each charm is separated by a spacer, so you can see I have um, sort of a four-leaf clover, a peace sign with Swarovski crystals. This is um, a ladybug here, but I have it actually on backwards. There's a K, because my name Caitlin is spelled with a K. My birthstone month, which is May. Um, a butterfly, a flower with a little dangly ladybug on it and then another butterfly so those are just a few of the pieces that I have but I think that some of the fa my most favorite pieces and the ones that I definitely get the most wear out of and like I was also saying they have some really cool um, sunglasses and I actually just recently bought a pair and so this is the pair that I bought they're kind of like the big sort of I don't know 50s style that a lot of people are wearing nowadays and they have this really nice heart detail on the side and on the other side they have this other detail so they're really kind of big sunglasses but I really like them and I use them a lot when I'm driving to work in the city so it's a really awesome pair of sunglasses so I hope you enjoyed this I hope it was helpful and I hope you have a chance to go into one of these stores so have a great day